lumbering bulldozers set about at once to construct airstrips. In a miraculously short time, Allied fighters were putting them to effective purpose. This is not the first time in history the French peasant has reaped his crops from the battlefields on all sides. Entire air units, formerly based in England, moved at once to the beachhead airstrips. And today they provide instantaneous support for the ground troops only a few kilometers away. One of the first soldiers to land on the fields was the Allied Supreme Commander, General Eisenhower. With him was United States Chief of Staff, General George Marshall. Together they tour the Normandy battlefield and plan new surprises for the Nazi command. Both expressed complete satisfaction with what they saw. To the eye of the layman, these gliders appear hopeless wrecks. But they performed their job and performed it well. This is not German damage. The fuselage is detachable to disembark men and heavy equipment in record time. Someday the full story of the service of the airborne troops behind the German lines will be told. It will be an heroic story. Batteries of allied big guns take up their powerful duties. Self-propelled guns move inland and keep the retreating foe within range. American trucks and transport of many varieties keep the forward troops well supplied. 